Hey, it's Sarah G. I am at the Fade to Light Fashion Show at the Crystal Ballroom, and I am here with XOXO and another uh, fashion designer, Colty or Colton. Um, this is so exciting. Have you performed at a fashion show before? Uh, yeah, not, I don't think anything of like this magnitude and and this much of a collaboration with a designer as well. So not not in this way before, no. Okay, what do you think about Portland fashion? Um, I don't know, it's a lot of t-shirts and stuff for the most part, which is dope, but what Kochi does is, is super dope. I saw his work a while ago, well not that long ago, maybe like six, seven months ago, I was just instantly drawn to it, just like the detail and <laughs> that kind of stuff. Anyway, <laughs> but just the detail in it, and I don't know, it's just amazing. I love what he does. Right. <laughs> so I first saw you at Fashion Next, and you definitely rocked the runway. Uh, will we see something similar to that tonight? A little similar, but um, I've got a lot of new styles, a lot of new colors, and uh, we're kind of mixing it up and doing something definitely I have not done before. And a couple little surprises, definitely for sure. Okay, so what was your inspiration for your <clears throat> collection? For this collection, it was all about femininity and how you know, being feminine, and there's nothing wrong with being feminine. And uh, the collection is called Cry Baby. So um, it's all about embracing your emotions, embracing being feminine. Um, it's a lot of pink and white and um, a lot of soft pastels. So that was, that was kind of my inspiration. I'm excited to see that. Also, what are some things you look forward to when uh, thinking about Portland fashion? I mean, just innovation, man. I mean, it's, you know, like I said, for the most part, I see a lot of. Sim I don't want to talk down on certain things, but just bottom line is I'm looking for innovation. I'm excited to see what people come up with and do. And like I said, like the stuff I saw Kulti doing was just, it looked super dope to me. It just looked like something I would go cop on Broadway or something like in New York. You know what I mean? Like it just, it just had me inspired. So um, I'm just looking to be inspired. I'm looking for the innovation and I'm excited to see that. I'm excited about what we're to do. <laughs> what we're going to do tonight. I'm on bad. I'm on bad. I'm over. <laughs> So I'm excited about what we're going to do tonight, and I really like how we collaborated on this whole idea. And uh, I'm excited for that. I'm excited to see this stuff come together in different ways, bringing different mediums to the table. So. Do you personally think hip hop influences fashion? Yeah, and I think fashion influences hip hop. <laughs> but yeah, I think I think it's a uh, you know I think it's a reciprocal relationship in that light. And uh, I don't know, you know what I mean? Even this situation, like. Uh, ideas he brought to the table with some things that we're gonna do tonight like he was just heavily like yo this is he, he drove he how did you steer 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 the ship, steer yeah, the ship? Yeah, yeah. you know what I'm saying so he, he really drove like a lot of ideas down I was like word that's lit you know what I mean just just from his perspective on how he wanted to bring the fashion into it and I don't know I've, I've just been inspired by that I just want to see innovation and all in that realm. Okay, well, thank you for your time, SOXO and Colton. I'm excited to see what you have on the runway thank tonight. You. Thank, thank you. you so much. <laughs>